All right, family, I didn't calm down. I had to bind the spirit of anger from my heart. It's the spirit of joy. I mean, chosen ones, we are in control. You are effectively Neo in the Matrix. It's just that if they can get you caught up in your emotions, then you don't forget that. I'm Gucci now. God told me to calm down. I was doing too much, so I apologize. I repent. Jesus Christ. I always forget, family. Sorry, y'all. Always repent, family. Um, don't wait till after. Don't wait till the end of the day. Family. If you did something, you know it's wrong. You know it was a sin. Go ahead and repent, family. It, it's, it's a, what's going to happen is, if you don't repent right then, your sins will start piling up. And the spirits, the demons, they'll start jumping on you. Like he say, um, it's normally several of them. I, I don't think I've ever met a person and they just have one spirit in anybody. They just have one demon. It's always legion. It's always... And I noticed a couple of them associate with each other, like um, like the spirit of lust is always associated with the spirit of vanity. Like it, it takes the vanity for you to look at something and lust after it. Like um, like the spirit of greed. Like a lot of people think greed is like just money, but greed is just hoarding anything. Like you're not everything's supposed to have balance, family. Right? Everything's supposed to have balance. Your spirit, your money, your life, your work. It's all about balance. Um I don't know, family. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because I legitimately thought once I had money, I would not have no more problems. I legitimately thought once I had money that I was going to like change the world. Like I legitimately thought that loved ones and people that I just grew up with, some people I looked up to, some people, I thought like they would do right by me because I have the money, but they don't fucking love me, family. They don't love you. They love the money. That's, bro, they love the money. I don't know what to say. Like, when I was in the homeless shelter, my shit was dead, bro. And them folks put me in a damn psychiatric ward, the fourth floor, anybody who in a hospital, in the medical field, or who's ever been admitted, no, you don't want to go to the fourth floor, family. Like, when I was in all these fucked up situations, family, my mama, God, that was it, family. Like, that was it. Um, family, one time I robbed a bank. And I robbed a bank to get money for a woman because I wanted, we were staying in the hotel. I was tired of standing out. I just wanted better for her. I felt like she deserved better than being in this hotel, which I know now she didn't, and she was where she was supposed to be, and I was supposed to leave, but I digress. Family, I gave this woman the money. When I got locked up, that bitch left the state, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I did six months in jail. Them folks couldn't prove it, because I, I did the crime with myself. I'm not gonna snitch on myself. I was asking me all kinds of questions. I'm in that bitch like. So you're not going to talk to us? I ain't even saying that, family. They asking me basic ass questions. I ain't saying a motherfucking thing, bro. I ain't saying shit. I'm mad as hell. I'm really mad as hell. That the reason I'm here is I don't even have it no more. Like I didn't commit this crime that God done told me not to do. He told me if you do this. I gotta take my hands off you. And at the time, I was like, well, at least I'll have this money. 
I repent. I was dead ass wrong. I didn't even have the money. When I did get locked up, bro, I met so many niggas who was locked up for a nigga, a, a woman. I'm sorry. My God. I also met women who were locked up for men. A lot of times they've been wild out or something. But you see this? You hear that, bro? You hear the noise? You see, bro, like everywhere I go, bro, it's like, I can't be alone, bro. Like, I can't just literally, like, bro, I could walk out into that empty field out there, my nigga, where you see nobody. And I could sit down and I could pull out my Bible and mind my own fucking business, bro. And then it'll be just people. they will just pop the fuck up like we at the mall. And I don't understand how this is happening. I don't, I don't understand. Like, it's been times I left my phone at home. Because I was like, I was so fucking paranoid. I'm like, the government tracking me on my phone and shit, la, la, la. And so I would leave my phone at home. Bro, my family, friends, and exes used to cuss me out. Why you answer the phone? Where was you? La, la, la. Oh, shit, my bad, my bad. What happened? What's up? The garbage disposal stopped working. What? You called me 20 times and you cussed me out. Because the garbage disposal stopped working? Because the trash need to be taken out? Family. I was up till 5 o'clock last night watching my own videos. And some of these videos, family, I promise you, it was like I was talking to my future self. A lot of things I said, it was like I was talking to my future self. One thing I love about it is y'all can all see where I started. Y'all see I started from the bottom. Y'all see I've been rocking and proclaiming Jesus, 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 Jesus. Y'all see that. They want the benefit. They want the blessing without having to do the work. They don't want to get on their knees every morning and pray to God. They don't want to read a chapter of the Bible. They don't want to like, they don't want to do none of that shit. <laughs> but, but they want to eat at your table. Family. My mother flabbergasted me. And, and I live in a decent house, but this is not even the best place I've ever lived. I've actually had better, and I will have better. I want my own house built from the ground up, and I will have it in the name of Jesus Christ. But family, my mother walked into my house with her dude, same dude that got caught talking to my ex-wife, same narc, same dude. Now, keep in mind, I'm only in this place because my mother, my ex, and my so-called friends would not let me live with them. They knew I was homeless. They knew I didn't have nowhere to go. I was in a relationship and I got kicked out. I got kicked out. I lost my job because she had the transportation. So I was effectively homeless. My mama had the nerve to tell me she was like, ooh, these real granite tops. She was like, ooh, this real wood. She looked at her dude and said, this how we deserve to live. We supposed to be living here. Bro, I nearly lost it. I nearly lost it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm like, bro, I wouldn't even be here if you would have just let me stay with you. You wouldn't. The fuck you mean? You should be living like this. And then for you to look at your dude, the same nigga who cheated on you with my ex-wife. The same, like, we caught them talking together. We had the conversations. My mother called me when the shit went down and was like, did you know such and such talking to such and such? I'm like, you got me fucked up. You lying. So I confront my ex. She like, shit, the nigga wrote me like he want to do this, that, and the third for me. And I was going to let him do it. Which is another reason why I felt like, okay, if I had more money... You would have never had to do that. I've been see, I've seeing a lot of women, like even the women now, it's women now that's trying to talk to me and they got dudes. I see it on their social media. They have niggas. The niggas go to work and pay all the bills. Why is you in my DM? Like, 
You want me to take you out, but what about your nigga, bro? What about him? They say these things. I'm like, bruh, male or female, Decepticons will sleep with somebody and come home to you and not give you none. And come up with some bullshit ass excuse or even make you feel like it's your fault. Bro, I've seen women send their niggas on dummy missions with my own eyes. I've seen them send their niggas on dummy missions just so they could be gone for a couple of hours just so they could cheat. And so my dumb ass thought that, okay, bro, if you got money, you ain't got to worry about that. Like, it's not about the money. It's about, like, they, they habits, they morals. They don't believe. They believe they can have their cake and eat it, too, regardless of you. I mean, I had a good-ass job. I was working for the complex I lived at. My rent was free and I was getting a check. Bro, I would come home and still wash dishes. I would come home and still clean up. I would come home and still help my kids with their homework, nigga. And my bitch didn't even have a job. They just fucking lazy, bro. We are giving them too much credit. The average person that you see on the street that is a narc, you think. When you see people do stupid shit, I promise you, I'd be like, oh, he doing that for clout. He got to be doing that for clout. Ain't no way he that fucking stupid. Look, family, if you a woman and your nigga cheat on you, you got to let him go. If they do it again, I don't want to hear about it. If you a man, especially if you a man and your woman catch you cheating, let me say this. If you are a man and you catch your woman cheating and you take that woman back, you a goddamn fool. Because, number one, women way better, way more conniving than men. Nine times out of ten, bro, that's not even her first time cheating on you. That's just your first time catching it. Same thing for women. If you caught your dude cheating, bro, I... Bro, I'm willing to put $1,000 on it. If you catch your spouse cheating, that's not the first time they didn't cheated on you. That's just the first time you caught them. I've experienced it too many times. I've seen it too many times, bro. You can't trust nobody. You can't even trust your own fucking mama. You can't trust your own daddy. If they are not of the light, if they don't worship Jesus Christ, if they are not super spiritual, like, bro, and even... Then, bro, I've seen pastors lie. I've seen pastors cheat. I've seen pa It's one reason why I won't go to like the seminary school and become like a legalized, legitimate pastor, bro. Because I've seen them do so much wrong, uh, like Catholic priests and the pedophilia. I've seen them do so much wrong, bro, that I don't even want to be associated with it. I'm just me, nigga. I'm just a follower of Jesus Christ. That's all I do, okay? Another thing I learned about these narcs, they are super afraid of death. But every chosen one I meet, we don't care about death. We just like, when God says it's our time, it's our time. You know why? Because we know where we're going when we die. I asked several atheist-ass niggas like, Okay, you say it's no God, right? But if you wrong, you're going to suffer eternal damnation. It is just more logical to me that you would worship a God. I, I advocate and prefer you worship the Most High God of Israel, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. But even if you choose one of them other religions, I think that's smarter than being an atheist. I can't even believe in school they taught the Big Bang Theory. I can't even believe the adults 
in the generation before me allowed the school system to tell niggas that nothing from nothing created everything. They said a bang happened and it made everything. They don't even sound right to me, bro. Like, they don't even make sense. You ain't never in your life just... You ain't never took a rock and just threw it and it just created a, a flower bed or some shit. Like, don't nothing on the planet even work like that. Everything has a process. But I digress. It's better for you to believe in God. It's better for you to sacrifice. And if you die, know that I am going to heaven. I am going to eternal paradise. Then it is for you to say, I'm just going to live the way I want to live. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to do as many drugs as I can. I'm just going to drink as much alcohol as I can and fuck it. I'm upset because I expect so much from my people, especially black people. I love everybody, but especially black people because I know we, I know because I know who we are. So when I see a bitch with her ass all out, that's my fault for calling her a bitch. I told y'all in the beginning, I'm working on the cursing. Okay? I didn't quit the drugs. I didn't quit the alcohol. It's levels to this shit. I'm working on it. I be like, damn, she a whole queen. She out here looking like a prostitute. And what pisses me off is the only reason they do that is because that's the niggas allow it. This shit blow my mind, bro. The rap music blow my mind, bro. Like, y'all still listening to Gunna? Y'all still listening to Gunna? Where the fuck they do that at? I was taught growing up, snitching was one of the worst things you could do. Okay? People respected People respected thieves. They respected jack boys more than they respected snitches. When I was growing up, people respected prostitutes more than they respected snitches. And so now all these rappers getting locked up and stuff and they crew is snitching and y'all niggas is still listening to their music. I feel fake as hell listening to the music. Cause I know. Like, you ain't even about that life. You know, about, same thing with the job and rat shit. Bro, you worth $200 million. What the fuck you doing riding around with guns, talking about this? And then you, now you talking about it was a fake gun? Nigga, that's even worse. You look stupid. But when you worth $200 million, a nigga can't tell you shit. In your mind, you just like, I done made it. I got $200 million. I got here on my own pretty much. You can't tell me shit. Bro, I used to cry to get out of the hood. I, bro, I was so tired of seeing roaches and rats and like, bro, I lived in New Orleans with my auntie and my auntie has like six kids. My auntie is one of the cleanest people I've ever met in my life, but my whole family talked shit about her being nasty as hell. It was not her. It was like the environment. It was nothing she could do, bro. Like, and when I would tell my other family members that, bro, auntie is actually cleaner than you, nigga. Bro, they were wild out on my ass. But to this day, she the only person I know that, bro, when you clean up, it's like you spring cleaning every day. We used to have to remove the refrigerator and the stove every time we clean the kitchen, nigga. We didn't even do that at my fucking job. I'm so sad, bro. I am not gonna lie to you. I'm so sad, bro. Like, I got everything materialistic I ever wanted, bro. But I don't have my fucking kids, bro. And that shit makes me sad as fuck. So I tried to fill the void with, like, Okay, I'm just going to meet a new woman, have some more kids. I can't trust these bitches. Bro, I brought this one chick to my house, bro. True story. Like, 
I was like two, three months ago, bro. I brought this chick to my house, my old house, not a new house. You can't even get in the house. You got it. Anyway, I brought this chick to my house, bro. For no reason, this woman stands, gets on top of my entertainment stand. My 70 inch screen TV, nigga, gets on it, holds it like this, and she like, what you would do if I break this TV right now? Bro, why? Why would you do that? For what? I asked her, I was like, bro, what I did to you? Answer my question. Bro, I looked at my brother like, bro, is this really happening right now? Bro, this shit made me so mad because I didn't have no choice but to be like, bitch, please don't break my TV. Please get down. Like, whatever you want, you hungry, I'll take you to go get something to eat right now, bro. What you want? You want some weed? I tell you, please get the fuck off my TV. Please. I got the chick out the house, bro. I locked the door. I went in my room. I turned on that PlayStation. I started playing the game. Dre, let me in. How you gonna do me like this? You a foul ass nigga. Bet you just tried to destroy my house. What the fuck you mean? I'm upset, bro. The money, they won't love you. They'll love the money. You can't trust them. They talk too damn much. They want to invite. I, I was talking to this one chick. We wasn't even dating three, four days. We was chilling. Uh, I was still smoking at the time. She was like, can I invite some friends over? And I was like, you know, male, female, who? She was like, it's going to be males and females. I was like, I didn't tell her yes, but I didn't tell her no. That was my fault. Why the fuck three niggas show up at my house? Bro, we, we got alcohol. We got weed. We got food. We got $200 fucking cable. I don't know why cable is so fucking expensive. But, bro, you got everything you need. I'm thinking you about to invite your homegirl and maybe she got her own nigga and it's going to be like a double date type situation. And to be honest with you, I was like, I was thinking to myself, if that's going to make you more comfortable, cool. No females came, bro. Three niggas. I just so happened to know one of the niggas in here shooter. I had to ask him. I said, bro, did you bring a gun in my house? He was like, oh, man, uh, I'm so sorry. Nigga pulled a big old ass 45 Glock out his pocket. I'm like, fam, you're going to have to give me that till you leave. The only reason I ain't kick him out is because they started buying shit from me. I repent. I'm sorry, but, you know, it was good weed at the time. Anyway. I, and I knew the nigga. I knew him. I, I didn't know his partners, but I knew him. He's a real shooter. Like, he's not a nigga that you, like, want to have as an adversary, okay? So I had to play the situation cool. I wasn't just about to kick everybody the fuck out and be like, you can't come because I knew good and damn well it would be this easy for them to come shoot at my house or them to come rob my house. But I was upset because this woman brought these people to my house. But they swear I ain't shit. They swear I'm lame. And then they be broke as fuck. That's another thing that killed me. At least when I was a bum, I had enough to buy my own McDonald's. It's been, bro, I ain't had this money a month yet. Every time we go somewhere. Um, yes, that'll be such and such and such and such. They start looking around and shit. I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to fucking. Family, love yourself. Take yourself out to eat. Take yourself to a spa day. You will appreciate it so much more than you will if you pay for another nigga or another woman. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing worse than you doing something for somebody out of the kindness of your heart and they throw that shit in your face. 
or they downplay it like it wasn't nothing. Like, and the reason they downplay it like it wasn't nothing because if they didn't manipulate you into doing it, they just gonna manipulate another man or another woman into doing it. I done seen it. Almost everybody, bro, they don't have, like, they have a team of niggas or they have a team of women. Like, when you meet somebody these days, they got, like, two, three exes on the team. They got a homeboy or a brother or a sister. That's just somebody they fucking, for, and for whatever reason, they can't be together. The shit just won't work. A lot of times, they done already tried it. And I bet if you ask them and you press the situation, they'll let you know. Like, yeah, we fucked around, but that was one time. They fucking lying. When she wants a dick, that's who she go see. When he wants a pussy, that's who he go see. Don't be fucking stupid. Read your Bible. Try to be a better person. Try to grow closer to God every day. And stay prayed up. That's all you can do. Do not spend your money on these people, bro. Pray for them. And if somebody ask you for money, pray for them. Because that's how you got it. Ain't nobody just give it to you. You ask God and he brought it to you. So these people, oh, that's right. God won't hear the voice of the sinners. Mm. Sound like you got a motherfucking dilemma. Sound like you might be worshiping the wrong God. But I digress. I'm throwing a party for the chosen ones. I'm gonna let y'all know the date and the time and the location. Matter of fact, I'm not. It's gonna be invite only. If you wanna come, you don't have to pay no money unless you out of state and then yeah, you're gonna have to fly yourself here. Inbox me, email me, demandre.douglas at gmail.com. I'm gonna take a look at your shit. And if you're not an art, you're going to get the information. If you a narc, I'm not even going to respond. God is better than money. Hell, he made the money. Love yourself. You are worthy. You are worth it. You are really, you are priceless. You are priceless to God. Okay? There is no amount of money that's worth your life. Period. I love y'all, man. Big blast. Thank y'all for watching. I remember when I had one follower. I remember when I had 10 views, bro. I remember when I had zero dollars in my bank account. It's all gonna come, bro. It's been promised to you. If you chose it, it's been promised to you, bro. Like, you're gonna have money. You're gonna have love. You're gonna have health. Like, it's promised to you. Just keep following the Most High God of Israel. Keep following our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep following the Holy Spirit. Keep reading your Bible. Keep praying for your family. I know, I know. I know they fucked you over. I know. But just like the situation I told you about with my mother and my exes and my friends, bro, if they wouldn't have did that shit to me, I wouldn't be where I am today. It's all of those situations and those times that people fucked me over, that made me who I am, that made me say, okay, when I get in a better position, when I level up, I'm not gonna do that to people. Don't hate people. Love them, forgive them. You ain't gotta fuck with them. You don't have to like pay their rent. Just pray for them. Just do that. At least your prayers are so powerful, family. Just pray for them. Because if something happened to him, you're going to be deeply hurt. I don't care how mad your mother, your brother, your sister, your father, your spouse, if you marry, make you, bro, if they were to pass away today, you would be depressed. So, all we could do is pray, family. I love y'all. Be blessed.